Hello, today I will talk about fish food and fish disease in part 7, about cryptocarrion or marine ick on the marine aquarium fish. I will also give specific info for the reef aquaria. Here we see a blue tang with the white spots between the corals and I hope you to let understand today what you can take as actions. A diseased fish's marine ache, well, first of all, perform a good examination. In this case, try to determine first the cause of the fish disease. It could be fluctuations of the temperature that the parasite can start to become an infection, a cold draft through open windows or doors, too much ventilation, air conditioning, a bad thermostat who doesn't work anymore, or a lack of quarantine. Stress, all factors that can cause the parasite to become an infection. But certainly make a correct diagnosis to avoid mistakes. You or an expert should try to use the microscope because this can help you to identify the disease. We will talk about medications in combination with a functional food and that can be recommended for you to have a good treatment. But first of all, ask yourself questions and look for the cause of the disease. Because it could be problems around the water quality, the functioning of the aquarium. What is the history of the fish? Therefore, I will mention the quarantine. And the parasite egg can be in the water or can be introduced by new fish. Therefore, a quarantine is a necessity to avoid many problems. New fish should be kept for at least 20 to 28 days in a small aquarium with the seawater the same as your home aquarium, so he learns to live in the new environment. At that time you can watch it, and at that time you also can improve the immunity of the new fish with the help of prebiotics and probiotics like for example from our Dr. Badsley or Bifish Food Professional Care, helping your fish to become strong because he might have been traveling a long way and going through a lot of stress. So you can help him to be ready to be drused into your home aquarium. And when necessary, during the quarantine, you can see a problem appearing. You can apply antibacterial or antiparasitic treatment, especially against marine ick and odinium, because difficult to treat in the reef aquarium, for example. Freshwater baths are very useful during that time because then you can remove the parasites just to dip for a few minutes in a fresh water with the same temperature and approximately the same pH. The time you can put a fish in the fresh water bath depends on the kind of fish. It can be a one minute for a very flat fish or a few minutes or longer, much longer for a much rounder fish like a particular clownfish. This results in healthier fish and much less risk of disease. Of course, important to know that you, when you had a good purchase of a conditioned fish, that prevents many problems, so make sure you buy from a good aquatic store. The most common marine fish disease is cryptocarrion or marine ick. As you can see on the picture here, all the white spots are all marine ick. And what is typical on this Zanculus, you can see easily the, the white spots on the black uh, color pigment of the fish, but not on the yellow band. So, because it's not detectable, but the white spots are there, but not seen on this yellowish bar. Marine ick must be checked or detected in the first early stages of the disease, when the first symptoms appear, like on this powder blue tang. You see the few spots here and here and here, so this is the time you really must catch on to start treating the fish. But first of all, watch out. White spots are not always cryptocarrion. Here we see above here, the white spots on this angelfish, it's lymphocystis, a viral infection, like on this catophagus. There's no treatment for this, only helping the fish with a good immune system by feeding with pro and prebiotics. And here is odinium on this Hinochus butterfly fish, very fine white dusty spots. And here the few white spots or specks into the fin of this angelfish. 
is caused by worm larvae. So, looks like ick, but cannot be treated like ick. So, cryptocarrion is not always easy to see. Here we see this powder blue, this uh, Paracanturus dory blue tank. You see, him respiration is very heavily and very fast, so the fish is somewhere suffering from. He has cloudy eyes here. But you can see now, when he turns this, you can see the white spots on the black part of the body, the dark blue part. So watch very carefully because this must be treated as soon as possible. Cryptocarrion is also in the gills. You saw it on the fish with the heavy respiration. And it's, it's moving around this parasite and it's causing damage. This is cryptocarrion in the microscopic observation. The parasites, the parasites cause damage, especially in the gills, and that cause is the cause of death of most of the fish which had an infection of cryptocarrion. So to apply a good treatment, it is important for us to learn about the 7-2 day cycle of the parasite cryptocarrion. At stage A, the trophons, that's the white spots we see on the host, on our fish. They remain on there a few days, three, four, five days, and then they drop off and within a few hours they are on the bottom and they start to multiply and reproduce to about 200 babies, terons that can be released and go reinfect the fish in the aquarium. And this happens during the night at dark. So that's the stage here where we'll talk about we can try to control by our actions, which we can take. And this whole cycle takes about seven to 10 days, depending on the temperature. Here it's a, a, a scale of 25 degrees Celsius, but the warmer the water, the quicker the cycle will be. But we can take actions. The first action we can take is learning about the new Dr. Baslier anti ick method. It's the combination of a medication, an anti ick medication you can get from the pet shop, like Faunamore or Protomore, and that kills the juvenile parasites. The ones who are moving to reinfect the fish, that you can kill with medication. And then you can add on an extra Dr. Baslier Biofish Food Metrine that makes the mucus of the fish parasite resistant so that the ick does not adhere or will not infect or will, be, or will be expelled. So a combination package, medication and food. The use of Dr. Baslier Biofish Food Metrine to help to control the marine ick is a new type of functional fish food with granulate food that is freshly coated with plant extracts from the plants of Fora, supplying the metrine. It's called in Chinese Ku Shen. And that changes the mucus so parasites do not adhere or are repelled. It looks like an anti-mosquito lotion. And this is interesting to use during a uh, quarantine period as a prevention plan. It's very commonly used as ex for exporters and importers, so they avoid the problems to occur on their fish. Scientific studies prove the function of the metrine as an antiparasitic. So the parasite cryptocarrion can be controlled with the application of the Sophora plant extract. And the study shows when the metrine is in the food, the fish will have less parasites, nearly half of the parasites are remaining on the fish after the me medicating with the food, with metrine. And the losses in particular are very low. Here is a high survival rate when the food is applied with metrine and there is no food with metrine. After a few weeks, the fish all died off with an infection of cryptocarrion. So science helps us to learn from this. <clears throat> there is a supplementary scientific study done on Sephora that it improves the immunity or resistance against bacterial infections, here against Streptococcus agalactice. Improved immunity. The Dr. Baslier anti ick method talks about the medication and the food that helps to control the ick parasite and also actions we can take with temperature, filter, UV, siphoning and light. And I explain that in detail where we can control and help to control and help the fish to survive an anti-ick 
or cryptocarium infection. So the treatment of cryptocarium, first of all, try to do it in the early stages. And special food like bifid food, matrine, changes the mucus so it controls or repels the parasites. Make sure you feed during minimum 12 to 20 days and use no other food so the food will be more effective. You can combine this with fresh water baths, lowering the salinity to 1015 depending on the original, treat with anti-egg medications such as Faunamor, but follow carefully the user manual because usually retreatment will be recommended. For reef tanks, I will explain this further on. But again, like I said before, look first for the cause, like a temperature fluctuations or stress. If you control that first, it's important to do that, because there's no use to do a treatment when you did not control the cause. What else can you do? Raise the temperature, a few degrees, so you speed up this cryptocarrion cyclus, uh, cyclus, but watch out for sufficient oxygen. Leave the light on for 24 hours, best done during the first days, so the cryptocarrion will not reproduce and reinfect with baby cryptocarrion tomites, so it remains on the bottom, and that time you can siphon the bottom and remove manually the parasite. You can do that two times a day, so the cryptocarrion parasites are removed. You can also filter with an ultra-fine material, smaller than 300 mu, that removes cryptocarium. Also UV, UV controls the spreading of the cryptocarium. Other action you can take, put the intake of the filter 5 cm above the bottom, so it sucks away the cryptocarium. All things you can do. For the advanced stage, the gill damage occurs. And usually secondary bacterial infections also occur and an antibacterial medication might be necessary to administer, like Viromor or Ectomor from Aquarium Munster. But sometimes it can be too late to treat in that stage. So our help is different factors like temperature and filtering and siphoning, particularly when the parasite is at the bottom, we can remove it and we can control the baby parasites here which are reinfecting the fish, going back, and that's the stage we can have an impact with medication and UV filtration and the use of the Dr. Basilier biofish food. Now for the reef aquarium, the Dr. Basilier anti method explained for that case is of course the use of the Dr. Basilier biofish food metrine with the plant extract from Sephora. So it causes the cryptocarrion not to attack so it's repelled. And also this food contains probiotic speleococcus for a better gut flora. It's a better immunity. Important to feed only this food during 20 days. And this treatment can already be sufficient to cure the fish when applied during the early stages. So your fish will be healed and no medication is necessary, no further losses. What else can you do? Leave the light on for 24 hours specifically in the first days, so the cryptocarrion does not release the baby cryptocarrion tomites. So this is kind of cause, is causing a stress to your corals, but sometimes you have to take a risk to remove that parasite. Siphoning the bottom two times a day to remove the manually the parasites. Raise the temperature a few degrees to speed up the cycle. It also can give stress to your corals or invertebrates, so you might have to add air. Filtering with ultra-fine material to remove the cryptocarrion, installing a UV filter, installing the intake of the filter just above the bottom, that is sucks away the cryptocarrion, all actions you can take. Also, a medication like Protomore from Aquarium Munster can be effective in the beginning stage, in the early stage of the disease, and it's safe for invertebrates. You want to have more info on fish diseases? Well, try to obtain my book, my newest book just published a few months ago about diseases in marine aquarium fish, the causes, the symptoms and the treatments. You are responsible, we are responsible when we keep fish. And I hope my information today helped you. Thank you.